Hey everybody, Math Day 94 with Grandma. Here's our helpful poem today. Six cents. Six is pretty quick to do. Just multiply by three, then two. If this sounds like too much trouble, triple first before you double. What is six times six? It's triple six, then double. Triple first. Three times six is 18 and double. 18 plus 18 is 36. What is six times four? It's four tripled then doubled. Four plus four plus four is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. Six cents. And this is our last circumference book as of 2023. This is the last one Sabine Neuswander and Wayne Gehan, the illustrator, have done. But she may make some more. This is circumference gets decimas point. It's daily sunrise, said Bart Gaff, the baker, stoking the oven. His business partner, P.F. Charte, yawned. Oh, let's bake creme de la creme today. Crash! Before Pia could find her sentence, a large hairy beast wrenched open the bakery door, stepped inside, and grabbed her. I am Tanut the Ogre, boomed the creature, and I am borrowing this baker. Together they disappeared in the weak light of dawn. Bart was greatly shaken. He sprinted up to the castle and informed Sir Tumpins that he died. Pia? Con? Where? said Circumference incredibly. We must search for her immediately, exclaimed Lady Di. I might have an idea to find her, Bart said. We'll follow the trail of fluff from the ogre's tunic. Meanwhile, Pia stood inside a manor house deep in the back country. Twelve hunger, huge ogres surrounded her. What do you want? she asked. The smallest ogre replied, I'm Decima. These are my parents, Tenet and Hundred and my nine older sisters. Tonight we're celebrating our 100th jubilee as the gatekeepers of the bridge over the River Thames. We're preparing a feast, but we need help. She relaxed. Cooking I can do, she said. Point me to the kitchens. The place was in shambles. After tidying up, Pia assigned jobs to the ogres. Decima, you and I will make the desserts. Soon the kitchen was sizzling, simmering, cloud of delicious aromas. Pia and Decima mixed ten batches of creme de la creme and poured them into immense square baking pans. From the f when the first pans were cooling on the windowsill, Desima's oldest sister gobbled one down entirely. Heavenly, she declared. Una, cried Desima, you ate one whole batch. Tenet was close behind. Such an ambrosia smell. May I, we share another? Here, Father, Desma cut a second batch into ten equal portions. I've named this size pizza Tenet after you. Thank you, my little sugar plum, he said, and Desma gave the pieces to her two parents and eight other sisters. After Hundred had eaten her slice, she said, Oh, Desma, this is toothsome. Could we have some more to nibble on while we mash and mix our meal. Desma took a third pin and cut it into ten tenant size pieces and she cut each of the ten pieces into ten smaller equal squares. Here are one hundred hundred size morsels named for you, she said, hugging her mother. What a thoughtful daughter, exclaimed Hundred. Desma and Pia baked more dessert to replace what the ogres had eaten. Soon they had ten pans of delicious creme de la creme. voice from outside the kitchen window. Surprised, P and the ogres looked up from their work. Intruders, Bella Tenet, rushing towards them. Oh, those are my friends, called Pia. Let's ask them to lend a hand. Enter, he roared joyfully. So Circumference and Lady Di and Bart, reassured that Pia was unharmed, climbed in and got to work.
By late afternoon, all was ready. The ogre family changed into their formal whale and joined the guests for the meal while Pia and her team readied the desserts. <coughs> How much on each plate, asked Lady Di. I'm using Decima's system, slicing each whole pan into tenant sized pieces, answered Pia. Lady Di looked confused. Tenets are ten equal parts in a whole pan, the baker explained. Whoop! Decima burst through the kitchen door. Everyone wants dessert. We need 85 pieces now. Dillylicious! Dillylicious! raved the ogres, drumming their spoons on the table. Good thing we have ten batches, said Lady Di. That's 100 servings. Decima looked worried. We should have more pieces on hand for eager eaters. Then I should cut one pan into hundreds, Pia decided. Better hurry, answered Circumference. They're going ogre the top. Well, this will be enough, Lady Di said. Nine pans of tenets are nine times ten or ninety pieces, figured Bart. Plus the one hundred smaller pieces sliced into hundreds pan, piped the Lady Di. That's a hundred and ninety portions, said Pia happily. With eighty-five ogres to serve, that's more than enough for everyone to have a bigger first piece and a smaller second helping. Bart peered out through the kitchen door. Uh-oh, uninvited guests have just landed in the rafters, he announced. Dusty pointed out, it's Thousander in his pass, passel of 99, 999 pasky pixies. They're sure to want dessert as well. <coughs> We won't have enough unless the pixie helpings are smaller than hundreds, Decima reasoned. She took the hundreds pan and began to slice each of those 100 pieces into very tiny but equal slivers. Little thousander-sized bins, she said. A thousand servings from one pan. That's hardly more than crumbs, said Pia. Decima shrugged. Pixies are very small. Frenzied fish started pounding on the dining room side of the sturdy kitchen door. Ignoring the ogres... Antics, Lady Di said, I'm seeing a pattern to Decimus' system. Every time we cut the dessert, we make it into pieces that are ten times smaller. A tenant <clears throat> is ten times smaller than one whole, and a hundred is ten times smaller than one tenth, and a thousand is ten times smaller than a hundred. Crack! The door exploded into splinters, and a wave of ogres flooded the kitchen while the pixies cheered from the rafters. In the Malay, a good deal of crumb to a crumb was flung across the room. Stunned, the ogres began to cry. Sweet treats were so important. Decima scolded them. See what you've done? Go sit in the dining room. We'll count what's left and share it among you. <coughs> the ogres dried their tears and tried to wait patiently. Pia and her crew placed the remaining desserts on the head table. All right, said Decima, slipping on a clean apron. I'll begin the count, and I'll record it for you, offered Bart. We have one whole pan of tenant size servings and one more tenant size piece in the next pan. The quill pen worked poorly, so Bill wrote only, Bart only wrote enough to record the counts, actually. One P, one. One per pan, he used a tiny letter P to the left of the P. He wrote the number, the whole pans, and the number of the right, the pieces. Just five tenants in this one counted Lady Die. P5, Decima counted. And two tenants in this pan, Bart wrote down P2. This is, that's it, there's no more. The ogres held their breath. One whole pan plus one plus 0.5 plus 0.2 equals 1.8. For the ogre guest announced, there's one full pan of tenants and eight other tenant sized pieces. It's 18 pieces, not nearly enough, one ogre cried as the rest of the guests moaned. But Decima had an idea. What if we cut them all into hundreds? That would be ten times more than the tenants, so I'll add a hundreds instead. One P times ten plus, plus P fifty plus two hundred. That's one P plus eighty. We'd have a whole pan of hundreds plus another eighty hundreds. 
That's 180 portions. That's enough for each ogre to have at least two small pieces. The ogre slumped their spoon approvingly on the table as Decima began to slice tenants into hundreds. But what about the pixies, Lady Di added. Egads, we almost forgot their pan, said Circumference. Sadly, one piece of a thousandth is missing. He took out the parchment. Point nine nine nine. Lady Down said, well, there are 999,000 sized slivers. Faintly buzzy crying could be heard as the wee folk realized one of them would not get served. I'll give up my serving, said Towsunder. For your noble gesture, responded Decima, have a leftover hundredth piece. There had never been a finer jubilee celebration dessert. As they left, Pianer cooking crew received a rousing toast. To Pian, the sweet treats! cheered the ogres, hoisting their empty plates into the air. Many thanks, she responded. Come round to the bakery for a visit and some more creme de la creme. End note, the ogres had a frequent path to Pia and Bart's bakery. The ogres and the townsfolk kept the two bakeries very busy making creme de la creme. They wrote down their orders using Bart's handy abbreviations. After a while, all of Angolan was using Decima's system. Bart's tiny letter P soon looked more like a dot or a comma. It was called Decima's Point. Today, people all around the world use Decima's system, which we call the decimal system for holes and parts. Whole numbers are written first. A dot or a comma, mathematically known as a radix point, separates them from the fractional numbers. The place value recorded to the right of the dot or comma are known as tenths, tenant sign pieces, hundredths, hundredth size pieces, and thousandth, thousand, thousander size pieces. But these are just the first three of the, fir of the fractional number places that can be written. Just as there are infinite whole number places, there are also infinite fractional number places. Circumference gets Decima's point.